Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning in October, and there are a lot of gardeners in the neighborhood on Tuesdays, but I just had to share my package. Nothing is more exciting than hearing from my fans and receiving presents. And one of my big fans is Tracy Garns in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, and they have a family farm called Mulberry Farm and she has sent me some goodies from the farm. Seriously? <laughs> I ran down to the end of the street. I walked down to the end of the street. I've got a sprained ankle. And uh, the, they're doing hedge trimming on a property down there and he said it was gonna be three hours. Now, uh, there's a leaf blower out back right now, but we have to move on. Anyway, this nice man said he would give me 10 minutes to shoot my video so that's what i'm gonna do oh. mm. catch my breath this is tracy's package and she told me some time ago what she was sending and i don't remember isn't that nice so it's going to be a complete surprise okay Oh my goodness, all sorts of preserves. Dear Kay, here are samples of the teas Mike has made, that's her husband, from herbs and the wild raspberry and blackberry leaves grown on our farm. He bought organic wild blueberries and oil of bergamot to add to two of them. They are in jars with aluminum foil to make sure the essential oils don't escape. The goji jam is made from our goji berries. I hope your move is going well. You and your mom are in my daily prayers. I love you, Tracy. Okay, let's see. Blackberry leaf. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. And then I guess I just make tea from these lovely tea bags. See, see these lovely tea bags that, oh, how exciting. Oh, and here is goji berry jam. Can you imagine? Goji. You can find Tracy's farm on Facebook, but there are some other Mulberry Farms, so look for at Mulberry Farm 51, and you'll go right to their page. Oh look, here's a blueberry lemon balm tea. Now these are fermented and I was hoping she was gonna tell me a little bit more about this. Uh, but I'll make sure that you get more information in the description below. And here is peppermint. Now aren't these beautiful? I don't even wanna open that because, but you see the lovely tea bags inside? What else? Blackberry Grey, Blackberry Grey. I wonder if this is like Earl Grey. Ah, Blackberry Grey, or I don't know. But uh, uh, isn't that lovely? Wow, I am so impressed. In fact, let's do it this way. Now, while I'm taking this out, I came across some, I've gotten very behind with my editing, and I found some images from the end of September when we had a little bit of rain. Check it out.
other thing I wanted to show you was how I made my candied roselle. I shot some pictures while I was doing it. Take a look. For those of you who are wondering about my one and only watermelon, let's just cut it open and see what's inside. That was promising. <laughs> well, it's juicy. Mmm. Wow. It's a little... Oh my gosh, this is incredible. That is actually not bad. And the other thing I wanted to show you was one of my, I'm gonna just pop one of these candied rosels. This is what they look like after they've been in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Mmm. Mmm. That would be so, mm, so good on a piece of cheese with a cracker. Mmm. Within an hour, uh, a stager is going to be bringing some furniture into my house. Tomorrow we sign the listing agreement. Let's see. My mother has not done well at all this year. You know, I talk about my mother a lot and she's really struggled and I need to see her. So even though all of this is going on and I have a million things to do, I need to run over and see my mother. I may have some news about Nashville, <laughs> which I'll share with you after I go to Nashville. <laughs> but I just want to thank everybody who has been so incredibly generous and kind. It's incredibly hard to do what I'm doing, but you know, you just focus on the task ahead and you try to get through that. And then later when you put your head down, then you can, you can cry or laugh or whatever, but you know, when you just have to get things done, you just have to focus and get them done. And that's, that's where I'm at right now. And I just appreciate all the amazing comments everyone is leaving. And I hope you will continue to, to follow my journey because I know a lot of you are going through a number of things. If you read the comments in some of the uh, last two videos, you'll see that a lot of people are selling, changing their lifestyle, caring for their elder parents, and various things. So we all have to deal with life. And we just do the best that we can do. And that's okay. <laughs> I wish the beginning had been quiet like this. I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to eat the rest of this one little watermelon today. I hope you enjoyed this short video and continue to follow my journey. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.